Hello, you're most welcome to a new season of the podcast about structure at work that is done. With me, David Schanholm. Every week I give two to three talks before audiences in a wide variety of industries and every day I hear about at least one method or app or trick that is new to me from the participants. What I receive, I share in this podcast and elsewhere. Today's episode is about getting rid of physical and digital piles of things to be sorted later. Do you have a to-be-sorted pile? You know, one of those piles that lie there on your desk for now and which you intend to deal with soon, but which has actually been lying there untouched for quite a while. Perhaps you have stowed it away in your bookshelf somewhere so that you do not have to see it, but even if you have your back towards it when working, you can feel its presence and know that it is there just waiting to be dealt with. Or perhaps you forget all about it as soon as you turn the other way, but are painfully reminded that it exists and still needs to be dealt with every time you turn around. If you have no piles whatsoever, then this week's tip will be of no use to you. But if you are part of the great majority of people I meet in my work, I want to share with you how you can avoid having to sort the verb that makes you avoid processing the pile in the first place. Because it does feel reluctant to get started with processing it, doesn't it? If we are constantly reminded that we still have not dealt with it, our bad conscience grows, and at least to me, few things make me as fatigued as feeling weighed down by undone tasks such as this. It is really easy to postpone going through the pile, and when it comes to these types of leavens, a couple of universal tricks to get things started are to divide it into smaller steps or to reserve a specific time when you will deal with whatever you have postponed. The point of getting rid of the pile is partially that we no longer have to see it and get distracted by it, and partly that we no longer need to be weighed down by the I should have done this a long time ago burden. So let's do something about the matter right away, even if you do not have time to sort through it. You do not need to do that now anyway. Do this. Determine if you, when you go through the pile some other day, will be able to go through the entire pile at once or if you would rather deal with small portions of it at a time. If you are unable to determine this, allow me to make the call for you and opt for the second alternative. Check your calendar and find the first available hour that you could reserve for dealing with all or part of the pile. Schedule a meeting with yourself on this particular time and call it either sorting the pile or something more cryptical if you don't want your colleagues to know why you are unavailable for meetings during this particular time. So, you have now decided when you will deal with the to-be-sorted pile. It is no longer up in the air waiting for you to make a call. You no longer have to feel discouraged due to not having dealt with the matter sooner because you have now determined when you will go through it. So it will get processed for certain now. But you want to get rid of the pile too. If you have a tickler file, which is like a time machine for papers that makes use of a hanging file system, you can place either the whole or a portion of the pile in the folder representing the day you made the appointment with yourself to do the sorting. If you do not use a tickler file, portion out the pile into a couple of large envelopes and write the date you intend to sort it on the first envelope. Write sort pile part two, and part 3, etc. on the remaining envelopes if you currently do not know when you will be able to deal with the remaining parts of the pile. Place the envelopes in a pile, but in a location where you do not see them and hence are not constantly reminded that you need to deal with them. To make things extra clear to yourself, make a note of where you have placed the first envelope as you are scheduling the appointment with yourself. Did you put it in your tickler file folder or where you placed the remaining envelopes? Sure, the pile has not diminished in any way, but you have made it clear when you will go through it, and until that time you now no longer have to be constantly distracted by having the pile in sight. It is no longer in your face, and you have defined a strategy of how to eventually get rid of it completely. You can almost sense the great feeling you will have once you are done with it, since it is already out of sight and hence also out of mind. How do you make sure that things do not pile up in the first place? Write to me and tell me. Many of my listeners have piles that tend to grow rapidly, so your tips and tricks are worth a lot to them. You will reach me by emailing david at 
Thank you for joining me this week and welcome back for next week's episode of Done.